good morning and welcome to today's maths class students so in the previous class we had studied about what is place value and what is face value right so in today's class what we'll be doing is we'll be studying about comparing numbers and ordering of numbers okay so let's do a quick revision on what is face value and place value and then we'll move on to today's topic so face value is nothing but face value of any number can be represented as the value of the digit itself so in 3679 the face value of 3 is 3 itself 6 is 6 7 will be 7 only and 9 will be 9 itself okay so these are the face values of the numbers now place value what is place value place value is the value of each digit in a number now in th this number that is 3679 the place value of 3 because it's in thousands place will be 3000 okay because it's in thousands place it will be 3000 and 6 okay 6 is in hundreds place here so it will be 600 7 is in tens place so it will be 70 and 9 is in ones place so it will be 9 so 3000 then 600 so then 7 tens and 9 ones okay so this is the meaning of place value so these are the different examples we saw so in 7945 the face value of 7 is 7 9 will be 9 only 4 is 4 and 5 is 5 and place value 7's place value is 7000 9's uh, place value is 900 4's place value is 40 and 5's place value will be 5 itself okay so this is face value and place value we saw it when you want to expand a number we just write down the place values as an addition statement so 7000 plus 900 plus 40 plus 5 is the expanded form of 7945 then here face value and place value of the number 3046 so in 3046 the face value of 3 is 3 place value is 3000 Zero's face value is 0, place value is 0, four's face value is 4 and place value is 40 and six face value is 6 and the place value is also 6. Okay. And then in, we saw that in 5486, the face value of 5 will be 5 and place value will be 5000. Okay. So this is face value and place value of numbers. Now comparison of numbers when you have to come you have studied comparing of three digit numbers in second standard now we'll study comparing of four digit numbers here okay so first what you'll do is first you'll check if the number of digits if the number of digits in a uh, number is greater or less okay if the number of digits is less it means that the number is small okay and if the number of digits are more means the number is greater okay so it depends on the number of digits in a number then rule 2 when you have the same number of digits in the number okay when you have same number of digits in the number then what you'll do for example if you have a four digit number first you will compare the leftmost place that is the right leftmost place that is the thousands place okay so in thousands place you'll check if what are the digits now if in the uh, thousands place the number which is greatest okay will be the greatest number for example if i have two numbers 2000 and 3000 now in thousands place in one number is 2 and the other is 3 so here 3 is greater than 2 so 3000 will be greater okay now if both in th both the numbers in the thousands place are same okay both the digits in thousands place are equal then what you'll do you'll move on to the next place that is a hundreds place again hundreds place you will check now in hundreds place you will see which is greater okay in the hundreds place uh, the digit which is greater that number will be the greater number we'll see examples of this later then if hundreds place is also same if the digits in hundreds place also is same in both the numbers then you'll move on to tens place okay then if tens place whichever is greater that number will be greater 
then even if in tens place all the numbers are same if hundreds place is same uh, thousands place is same and tens place is same then we'll move on to ones place okay and then you'll check which digit is greater and the greater of the two will be the greatest number then what you'll do is okay then you'll just put the signs now here we have some examples on comparing of numbers now first here i have 7 89 and 4 5 6 7 here which is greater now 4567 has four digits and 789 has three digits so 789 is less than 4567 because it has less number of digits now 4782 and 3654 here first we'll start with thousands place the first number in thousands place is 4 and the second number it is 3 now 4 is greater than 3 so 4782 will be greater than 3654 then 5632 and 5412 here Five and five, both the thousands place is five. So now what you'll do, you'll check hundreds place. In hundreds place, in the first number we have six, and in the second number I have four. Right, so six is greater than four, so first number is greater than the second number. Now what we'll do here, both the thousands place and hundreds place is same. So we'll move on to tens place. Tens place, in the first number is two, and the second number is three. Two is less than three. So that means first number is lesser than or smaller than the second number. Now here in the last example as you see thousands, hundreds and tens all the places are same digits right. So we will check ones place. Now in ones place here we have 5 and here in the second number we have 4. So 5 is greater than 4. So first number will be greater than the second number. Okay so this is how you compare numbers. Now ordering of numbers there are two way to order given order to numbers what are they first is ascending order ascending order is nothing but numbers are said to be in ascending order when they are arranged from the smallest to the largest number so when you arrange all the given numbers from the smallest to the largest then it is said to be in ascending order okay so ascending order means nothing but climbing up the stairs so when you climb up the stairs it is called ascending order then descending order descending order is nothing but when you arrange numbers from the highest or the largest number to the smallest number so numbers are said to be in descending order when they are arranged from the largest number to the smallest number so that is nothing but climbing down the stairs so when you move from a higher level to a lower level that is called descending okay so this is descending order so arrange the following numbers in ascending order so some examples on ascending and descending order so i've given you four numbers here you have to as arrange them in ascending order okay so first which is the smallest here it is 2453 then after that we have 3541 uh, sorry 3241 then 3541 and the greatest is 5874 so this is how you arrange in ascending order then second 9841 then 6547 8412 2154 so the here the smallest is 2154 then 6547 then 8412 and 9841 okay so you arrange these like this so write the numbers from smallest to largest then arrange the following in descending order first we write down the largest number so here that is 6841 then after that we have 5751 then 4521 and 4125 okay then 9744 2541 2655 and 8841 so the greatest number here is 9744 then 8841 then 2655 and then last 2541 so this is ordering and comparing of numbers now what we'll do is we'll uh, solve the examples or questions which are given in your textbook okay so comparing numbers so we saw comparing numbers with different number of digits so the number which has less number of digits is smaller the number with greater number of digits is 
exponent bigger now comparing numbers with same number of digits we saw the different rules first you start with the left extreme left that is your thousands place then if they are same then you move on to hundreds then tens and ones okay so this is how you compare numbers then we saw ordering of numbers right ascending order and descending order now i told you ascending means climbing steps so you can see in your textbook here this climbing steps this is ascending order and climbing down the steps will be descending order as you see here okay so this is ascending order and descending order now let's see a few questions okay so exercise 1.3 page number 89 so fill in the blanks with the correct symbol okay you have to fill in the blank with the correct symbol okay so you have to use a greater than less than or equal to symbol and compare the two numbers now the first one 3452 and 435 so here 435 has three digits and 3452 has four digits so it means that the first number is greater than the second number because it has more number of digits b1 217 and 2107 so here 217 is three digit number 2107 is a three digit number here what you have to do here now 2117 is smaller because it just has three digits and 2107 has four digits so it is smaller so we use this lesser than sign and then 4009 28 and 4982 now for both have same number of digits so we'll check the thousands place thousands place has four in both so we'll move on to hundreds place hundreds place has nine in both the numbers then moving on to tens place in the first number we have two in the second number we have eight so two is smaller than eight so we'll put the smaller than sign now three thousand zero uh, three thousand fifteen and three thousand one hundred and five now which is smaller here 3 and 3 both are equal then hundreds place 0 and 1 0 is less than 1 so you put the less than symbol then 6291 and 6192 now there is 6 in both thousands place in hundreds place first number has 2 second number has 1 so 2 is greater than 1 so we will put the greater than sign last one 7736 7736 both are same so you'll use the equal to sign okay you'll put the equal to sign here so write in ascending order so you have to write these numbers in ascending order so the first one which is the smallest number it is 215 so 215 then the next smallest number 487 then 3235 and then we have 6148 okay then here next one which is the smallest number it is 3487 then we have 4785 then 4844 and 6521 okay the last one here 3712 3217 3721 3127 which is the smallest it is 3127 then 3217 then 3721 okay so this is ascending order now question d and e you'll do for homework we have given at home then write in descending order so how will you write in descending order first you have to write the biggest number which is the biggest number here it is 8593 then i have 5214 then 748 and the smallest number is 725 okay so that is a1 now b1 6483 6384 8459 8327 which is the biggest here it is 8459 then we have 8327 then i have 6483 and the smallest is 6384 okay so this is how you arrange in descending order 
and the last one 4250 4019 4190 4502 which is the biggest here it is 4502 then then which is the next biggest we have 4250 then 4190 and 4019 okay so this is how you arrange numbers in descending order then question D and E again you do for homework they have given at home okay so question D and E of both second and third question all right so uh, I'll see you all in the next class students okay we'll be studying forming of numbers and what are how to round off numbers in the next class all right so I'll see you all in the next class thank you